Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do conversion tracking in Google Analytics, specifically the new version of Analytics called GA4 or Google Analytics 4. If you're used to setting up goals and conversions in Google Analytics Universal, then this video is going to be very helpful. It'll save you a lot of time. This is a GA Universal account. And as you can see here, I've got a bunch of goals that were set up. And now in GA4, it's not called goals anymore. You're working with events. Uh, here's the site that I set up or that we set up. I didn't specifically set it up. One of my team members did, but we're going to keep track of the conversions for this site, which would be, in this case, whenever someone goes to the contact form, they will reach the success page. And that's what we're gonna track as a conversion. Okay, so first things first here, um, let me just find this uh, Dragonfly site. So the first thing you wanna do to set up this, um, this conversion is go to configure. And then what we're gonna do here is cl click on create event and then click on create again. And now we're going to give this event a name. So I'm gonna call it contact underscore form uh, success. The first parameter is event underscore name. Then the operator is equals. And then we're going to just say page underscore view. Then we're going to add another condition here. And this will be called page location. And this is going to be contains and now what you're going to do is go to the page uh, to the success page and then copy the URL everything uh, after the domain name the part of the URL starting with the first forward slash okay so we're going to copy that and then just paste that in here okay um, now you can also set uh, a value for this if you want especially if it's an online store and you're keeping track of the success page once someone has placed an order, you might know your the value of an average order. So you can maybe put that in here. Or if you want to assign a value to something such as someone contacting you, you know, you might have done the math and figure out what is it worth to you when someone contacts you. Uh, you can put that value in there. And then that's it. Um, you create the event. And it'll look like this. And then what will happen... Um, uh, you, you'll have to wait a little bit here. So you can, it might take like 24 hours and then you'll start to see your events appearing on this events page. And then there will be a little switch that you can turn on to mark the event as a conversion. So think of that event as a goal if you're thinking of universal analytics um, and then just indicating which goals are our conversions, um, you would just do that. So if we go to this conversion screen, you kind of get a sense of what it looks like. Um, it will list it like this, where you can see, this is just a default conversion that is set up. Um, you can't turn the switch on or off for this one. Let me just actually um, find a different site here. Okay, so here's the site that I showed earlier. Um, at the start of this video, I showed the, the goals that I'd set up for the site. Now, I've set up one, um, one conversion so far, or one event, which is a contact form success. So you can see there, I'm not tracking the phone calls or the quote request forms or any of those um, goals yet. I need to set those up. But as you can see on the events page, it would look like this. All your events are going to start to get listed, including your custom events. So these are this these events, like for example, first visit and page view. These are just um, uh, default events that the GA4 creates. But this is my custom event here. And then all you do is you just turn that switch on to mark it as a conversion. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to head over to our website at squareflow.com and you can always fill out the contact form and get in touch with me. Or you can find me on Instagram and just send me a message. My handle is J-A-C-O-O-O-Z-A, Yakuza. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, have a great day.